This is meant to be a demonstration of chording on a guitar, and so I'm going to begin with the C chord. A quick reminder of a few basics. Um, when we talk about fingers on the guitar, starting with the thumb, we count the fingers one, two, three, and four. With one always being the index finger, and four always being the pinky. Um, to make the C chord then, we are going to begin by starting with our one finger. There it is. And the one finger is going to find um, the first fret on the B string of the guitar, which, uh, counting up from the bottom, the B string, one, two, it's the second string up, B string. The next finger that's going to be placed on the guitar is the... Um, is the second finger and that's going to find its place on the D string on the second fret. So showing that to you like this. The D string again is um, one, two, three strings down from the top of the guitar. And then the last finger that goes on is the three finger um, and that one is going to be placed on the third fret on the A string. And the A string is one, two strings down. A few things just to point out about the shape of my hand in this. Um, you'll notice that my I'm playing on the tips of my fingers. Um, you'll notice that the tops of my knuckles here, or the, these top sections of my fingers, have really flat um, areas or tabletop fingers. Um, and in order to get that shape, um, my hand has uh, um, a shape that sort of extends the line of my forearm all the way up to the neck of the guitar, um, with these fingers being uh, very curled in order to um, touch just on the tips of my fingers and not touch any other strings. My thumb then is uh, behind that shape in order to support it. Um, it doesn't need to be like super tight back there. I don't need to put a lot of pressure on my thumb because the pressure is coming here on the tips of my fingers. Again, as I play through, I'm only going to play um, from, the, from the A string to the E string down the guitar. Um, I don't need to play the low E in this chord. And then strumming it all together. Great. C chord. Um, another chord that we use in class is the F chord. The F chord is a little bit challenging to create on the guitar. Um, I think it's one of the most challenging beginning chords that we're going to tackle, uh, but it is a really important chord in the key of C. So in order to make an F chord, you have to do a partial bar. Now when we use that term in guitar, what we mean is one finger is going to um, fret more than one string. So in this case, the one finger is going to fret both the B string and the E string. So the bottom two strings on the guitar. Um, what I was taught when I was learning guitar is that because the fleshy part of your finger is, um, is soft, sometimes it, it gets in the way of, of barring and um, you can actually get a better connection by rolling your finger so you're rolling on the tip of your finger. And I find that to be a more comfortable position too. So um, so when I bar, I'm going to take this finger and instead of going straight on the guitar, I'm going to roll it to the side. Um, when I do that, I also tend to bring the head of the guitar up a little bit just to make the grip more comfortable. Um, so the one finger, again, on the first fret on the B string and the E string, those high, those the highest strings on the guitar tonally. Then my second finger is going to find the G string um, on the second fret and my uh, three finger is going to find the third fret on the D string. And so I'm going to roll those fingers up so that they're just playing on the tips of their fingers and I'm not going to even bother playing the G string, I'm sorry, the E string and the A string. I'm just going to leave these low strings out of this chord. 
Notice the shape of my hand again. I've got this finger because of its bar, it's kind of turned out. These two fingers though still maintain that tabletop shape and I'm playing on the tips of my fingers. To go from this chord to the C chord, the nice thing about it is I'm not going to totally undo everything I have. I'm going to take these two fingers and I'm going to move them as they are already shaped up one string. So here I am in the F position and to go back to the C chord I'm going to move them straight up. This finger here I'm going to release the bar and roll it up onto the, a, the B string. So now I'm playing the C chord and there it is. To get back to that F chord, I'm going to collapse this finger down. These two fingers then are going to drop down one string back into F position. They stay exactly on the same fret. They're just going down. Um, um, they're going. They're going downward uh, one string. So again, that is here is C. Here is F. So even though the F chord is challenging, you can go from F to C with very little movement. Another chord that we're going to be using is the G7 chord. And again, we find it in a lot of the same uh, places on the guitar. So I'm going to leave my fingers here on the C chord for just a moment to show you the G7 chord. When I go to play a G7 from a C chord, I'm going to take my one finger, I'm going to drop it down one string, and then I'm going to take my two and my three fingers, and I'm going to move those fingers both up on the same fret, but one string up. Now I'm in G7 position. And that chord sounds like that. When I play a G7, I don't have to worry about not striking any of the strings. I'm going to play all six of them. Going back to the C chord, I'm going to drop these two fingers down and then bring this finger up to meet them. Okay. I'm going to show you now G7 um, a bit slower in case some of that was confusing. I'm going to start again with the one finger on the first fret on the E string. That's the very bottom string on the guitar, the very highest um, string. Um, it's weird that we use that language. It's the bottom, like geographically, but it's also the, um, the highest pitch. The two finger then will find the second fret. Um, find the second fret. I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong string. On the A string, which is the second to the top. Um, and then finally the three finger will find the E string. Uh, which is uh, on the third fret, and it's the very uh, top string on the guitar. So, E, A, and E strings, first, second, third frets. So right now our fingers are all staying in their home positions. First position, second position, third position. All right. Now you got three chords. There's a lot you can do with three chords. 